Tonight, family members of a murdered Macon woman are once again asking for anyone with information to come forward. In 1995, someone killed Virginia Howard. A new Georgia law may offer some hope for justice by allowing family members to request law enforcement reopen cold cases and give agencies more resources to help solve them. Ramey Cohen talked to Howard's family about the woman who was taken from them by violence. More than 25 years ago, Virginia Howard was found dead on the side of Sherland Drive. She was only 43 years old. Passerby thought maybe she was intoxicated and drunk, you know, and, and collapsed from being wasted. But she was actually fighting for her life. And that's where she took her last breath at. Howard left behind her only son, Larry, who was 25 at the time. He remembers his mother's big heart. It's still there. That pain don't go away. Jean Moss grew up with Howard and was her first cousin. My aunt, I think she died grief sticking. Anybody with a kid that don't know what happened to them, it going to stay with them. Virginia Howard's mom died after pushing for answers for years. Now it's Virginia's son looking for justice. He worries some of his mom's struggles kept the case from getting the attention it should have, and that instead of seeing the caring person they knew, only saw... Unemployed, criminal record, addicted to drugs. Who cares about that life? If she had been just a simple person walking around, I believe they would have investigated more. The family hopes the new law giving life to cold cases might bring them closer to finding some answers. Her kids need that closure. Her grandkids need that closure. Her sister need that closure. The whole family need that closure. It occurred in Fort Hill. As many people was running them streets back then. I mean, it, somebody knows something. In Macon, Remy Cohen, 13 WMEZ News. If you have any information about what happened to Virginia Howard, you are asked to call Macon Regional Crime Stoppers. It's an anonymous call at 1-877-68-CRIME. We're taking a closer look at a Putnam County double murder that's still unsolved. One of the most notorious cold cases in central Georgia is nearing its ninth anniversary. That's when someone murdered Russell and Shirley Derman. Russell was 88 years old and found decapitated. Ten days later, fishermen found his 87-year-old wife dead near the Lake Oconee Dam. Last year, Putnam County Sheriff Howard Sills received cell phone data from the FBI that was added to evidence. The sheriff said at the time the technology to review that data didn't exist in 2014, but it was another tool to aid the investigation.